Parity is an issue that you can encounter on the square one. Usually parity looks something like this, where two edges need to be swapped. Now there is no specific edge permutation algorithm for this case, instead we call it the parity algorithm and the parity case. In this video I'll be going over the basic algorithm that solves this parity case. I'll also be going over one other case in this video. So the first case looks like this. So these two edges, or any two edges in uh, one layer will need to be swapped. So for example here, you can see that everything else is solved except for these two edges that need to be swapped. So on a 3x3 three three, this case would actually be impossible, but due to the nature of the square one and how it's so different from the 3x3, three three, you can actually get this case. And there is an algorithm to solve this case. So the way you hold it is so that you have the two unsolved edges in the front and on the right face. The algorithm is as follows. Now as you can see, it did solve these two edges, but we are left with what is called an equator issue. So I will be going over equator issues, even though it's not really uh, a form of parity, I will still be going over it. Uh, if you want to skip to this part, there will be a timestamp right here. I will show you the algorithm one last time. This is the second square one parity case, where two edges, which are pretty much opposite, need to be swapped. Instead of being adjacent to each other or near each other, they are completely opposite. Now, usually if you were an intermediate or advanced square one solver, there would be a specific algorithm for this case that uh, you would use. But since this is a tutorial for beginners, I'm going to make it easier and on this case, we can use the algorithm that we learned before. So, when we do that... The cube will actually not be solved, but it will no longer have parity, and will instead have a simple edge permutation case. Yeah you would just execute the algorithm for this case. And then of course, you may have equator issues and uh, I will go over those very soon. Once again, how to solve this parity case is simply executing the standard parity algorithm for the case that I showed before this. and you are left with an edge permutation case. Now it is time to cover how to solve uh, the equator if you have any issues with the equator at the end of the solve. So this is probably the most common case where basically everything is solved. Uh, this bar here in the equator is correct but this looks like it's a little deformed, it's out of shape. Now this case is actually very simple to solve. All you have to do is
very easy. It's essentially like going R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U2 on a cube, except you'll end up with something like this. So don't, you don't use that algorithm on the three by three, but you can use it on the square one. So once again, and make sure the edges line up properly when you're executing it so that you don't turn it there or there, it's in the middle. And yeah, another equator problem you may have is this, where basically two uh, faces of the equator are solved and then the other two uh, need to be swapped. Now this is a very simple case once again. Uh, there are two ways you can do it. You can either go or you can just use the middle, the equator, and just flip like that. So once again, how to solve this case, you can go, or you can just go. So to quickly recap everything we've learned in this tutorial, the parity algorithm, solve this case and how to solve this case which is holding it like this and executing the same parity algorithm and then ending up with an edge permutation case and how to fix any equator issues. Or if you get something like this, you could simply go like that. So that's it, thank you for watching. I hope it helped you with any square one issues. Sorry this took ages to make, I've been quite busy at the moment. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.